MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Boston Red Sox and the Baltimore Orioles. Digging in, Jose Peraza. He will lead this one off today. So 1 1 is laid off for ball two. All even now, two and two. Our temperature at first pitch and even 70 degrees here this afternoon. 2 2 pitch is fouled away. Now here it comes. Pops this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. Urias backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Next up for the Red Sox, Alex Verdugo. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. That's popped up. Iglesias will put this one away and that's out number two. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. The 2-2. Back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. That is four. The shortstop. Xander Bogart. At the plate, Xander Bogarts turned on down the line. Martinez leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. The two two. Three balls, two strikes. And he takes nope. ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Striding in, Ramon Urias. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Still one and two. Nobody out, runner on first. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. First at-bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Oh, my. This ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? And that one is gone. This guy has been a serious thorn in the side of the staff. Homering twice in three days. The numbers don't lie. He owns these guys right now. Into the box, Renato Nunez. And the count will be full. Still only one out in the inning. Drilled down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And he'll reach second now with one away. That is good. The dedicated hitter. What? Standing in now, Dwight Smith Jr. fouled off. Payoff pitch one more time. Line towards center field. Pilar is there now, and he has it to gone. At the plate, Anthony Santander. And the Orioles looking for more here in this game's opening frame. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. 
And it's a foul ball. Two out here and a runner at second. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's... This ball gets down. Let's see if they try to score. And the throw in gets away from him. The throw, and he's tagged out at third. That'll end the inning, but they do score one on the play. So now to the plate, Rafael Devers. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Devers comes into play with a slugging percentage over 490, just shy of 500. So he's looking to inch closer to that nice plateau right here. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Rafael Devers becomes the first out of the inning. Hit on the ground out to short. Iglesias is there. And there's out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And from the on-deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called. And the inning is over. ready to go for the last half of the inning Austin Hayes the next to bat he's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest one of the keys to securing a win they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings right side but it's going to be a foul ball the 2-2 two -two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Stepping in, Austin wins. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Now here it comes. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. On deck, the powerful Chris Davis. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Cutter, and it doesn't make it back. Three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. A 1-1. He is low and outside for a ball. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Heading out towards shallow right. Verdugo in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. At the plate, Ramon Urias. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Two down, runners at first and second. Hit hard but foul to the left and they'll try it again. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. He's set. Here's the 2-2. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you've got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Michael Chavis. And they'll need him to get something going here. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. 
but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Set to deal. Here's the 3-1. And he fouls this one off. The 3-2 pitch. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. Scooped up. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. One gone here in the Boston third, and that'll bring up a former gold lover, the first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Fouled away. The next one, two pitch. The bouncer to the left side. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. Digging in now, Jose Peraza flied out in his first at bat, so make it 0 for 1 so far. Grounder down the line at third. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. Riding in once again, Trey Mancini. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. And it's fouled away. Two balls and two strikes to Mancini now. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Fouled off. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. I know that's the spot he didn't want to miss in, but he got away with it. A full count, three balls and two strikes. There's a line drive. Base hit to left field. The batter, the designated hitter. At the plate now, Dwight Smith Jr. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Ball two. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Digging in the switch hitter, Anthony Santander. He'll swing it from the left side right here. The set and the 1-1 pitch. And he pulled up in time, but it's a called strike two. Ground ball left side. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. New inning set to get underway. Digging in, Alex Verdugo. He flew out in his last at bat. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now, three and two. Great AB up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Now batting, left fielder, J.D. Martinez. In for strike two. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. 3-2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. So two gone now here in the Red Sox fourth, and that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two-strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. 
throw in time and the side is retired. Ryan Weber answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Ryan. Bottom of the inning now. Ready now for Baltimore. Austin Hayes. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Skied into very shallow right. Playable for Verdugo, and there's one gone. Stepping now up to the plate, Kepner. Austin wins. He drew a base on balls his first Win. time up. Three runs, four hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. One and two now. Hit out towards second. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. Stepping in now, Chris Davis. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. Hit on the ground out to short. Gloved by Bogarts. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Here now is Rafael Devers. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hit hard to short. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Now back, the center fielder, Kevin Pilar. In now, Kevin Pilar. Here's a topper fouled off to the right, and that'll even the count at two and two. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. Christian Vasquez waits on deck. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And he is in there. Now back. Christian Vasquez. Into the box. Christian Vasquez. And here's a ball hit in the air. Here comes Mancini. But this will land untouched. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Good take right there. He's given him a great battle with guys in scoring position. We'll see who's going to win this duel. Grounded to third. Fielded cleanly. And he's out on the tag. But a run is in to score away from the play. So here's Michael Chavis now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 2. And he fouls this one off. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Coming to the plate now, now Mitch back. Moreland. The runner in scoring position with two gone. Moreland. The 2 1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Ready once again, Ramon Urias. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. The 1-2. 
bouncer up the middle. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. The right fielder, number 15. At the plate, Trey Mancini. Hit high and deep to left field. Back goes Martinez at the track. The wall. Gone! Into the box now, Renato Nunez. That's going to even up the count at two and two. Here's the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Pilar's there. And that's the first out of the inning. In now for the O's. Dwight Smith Jr. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1-1. One, one. Ball back inside. That's ball three. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Ball four. Into the box, Anthony Santander. A hit and two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Anthony Santander. Now the one and one pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Now batter, center fielder. So now to the plate, Austin Hayes. High and deep to straightaway right. Verdugo backing up on it. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate. And not in time as the second run scores. Ryan Brazier gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Standing in now, Austin wins. In the air, down the line, and left. On the move is Martinez. He gets there, and that's the second out. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And up next, the left-handed power bat of Chris Davis. Fouled away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Still a ball and two strikes. The one-two is looked at for ball number two. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Ready with the two and two. And he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Stepping into the box, Jose Peraza. He was a ground out victim last time up. The 1-1. One, one. Misses, ball two. two Three and one. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field, and that is off the wall. Peraza rounds third and is digging for the plate. He will score, and it's a 7-2 game now. Michael Rooker takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. 
J.D. Martinez. Stepping in now, J.D. Martinez. Hit the target, but this is low, 2-1. hit the other way out toward right field. Mancini moving back. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Xander Bogarts. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth. And that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. In there at the letters, one and two now. And it's fouled away. Here's another one, two. Ran it in on him as this is bounced toward short. Iglesias is up with it. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. Now to the plate, Jose Iglesias. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 1-1 one, one home. Count is two and one. Lifted in the air out to right. Chasing after it is Verdugo. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now At the plate, Ramon Urias. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now the two one pitch. It is taken, ball three. Trey Mancini waits on deck. Now this is swung on, and here's another fly ball out to right field. And that'll get down for a base hit. And he'll pull into second with one away. The right fielder, number 16. To the plate now, Trey Mancini. Slider can't find the zone here, and he's behind now three and one. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. And that misses for ball four. And here's Renato Nunez. Two for three with a double on his line so far. A two and one count to Nunez. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty, two and two. Yanked on the ground down the line, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Hit sharply on the ground, and that is through into center field, a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Into the box, Dwight Smith Jr. A swim and a shot hit down the corner. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. There's one. On to Moreland, and they roll two to end the inning. Digging in to try it again, Kevin Pillar. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. Strike two called, and it's even at two. Down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Now here's the pitch. And he's 
struck him out. Now at the plate, Christian Vasquez. He's got an now RBI that. despite an 0 for 2 effort to this point. 1-1. One, one. High in the air out to center field. Hayes is there. Two gone. Now the now Red Sox DH, Michael Chavis. He's Michael grounded out and struck out Chavis. in his two trips to the plate. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The one-two. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Urias ranging into shallow right. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Darwin's and Hernandez gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 63. Darwin Anthony Santander will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Hot shot down the line. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. So coming to the plate, Austin Hayes. He drove in two with a double in his last at-bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once in A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. The one-two. Looked like he was a little over-aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. The two-two. Hard hit ball to second. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. Ready now, Austin wins. A hit in two tries so far. The 2-2 two -two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Richard Blyer has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 48. Richard. Striding into the box, Mitch Moreland. Lifetime against this particular arm. He's gone two for eight. The 1-1 one, one home. Hey. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. And here's now Jose Peraza. 0 for 2 from him so Jose far in this one. Peraza. And he looks at one in there, one and two. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. The right fielder, number 99, Alex Verdugo. Into the box now, Alex Verdugo. Just missed with the 2-2 two -two count, and it runs full now. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Now batting. Here's J.D. Martinez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Here's Chris Davis now. No hits to this point. One one home. 
He swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And there's one away. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Jose Iglesias, he's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Here's Bogarts, the young shortstop. Throw on to first, two gone. In now, now Ramon back. Urias is doubled back. and singled in four at-bats in this contest. The 1-1. One, one. Two, one. Two out, nobody on. <laughs> Lifted down the line in left. On the move is Martinez. And he makes the catch in the corner. Sean Armstrong comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. All set for the start of the inning. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Xander Bogarts. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. The pitch. Put him away. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Rafael Devers the next to bat. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. The 1-2. Again he sends it out of play. Bases are empty. One man out. to two balls and two strikes now. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Santander waits on it. He's got it and there are two down now. Now with the plate, Kevin Villar. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Last strike now for the Red Sox. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs. So a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind them like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. 8-3 to three is today's final. The Orioles jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. John Means earns his first win of the season. Marcus Walden worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Baskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. for this afternoon. First for the victorious Orioles, Adron caught 11 hits. No errors, they left eight men on base. For the Red Sox, three runs, five hits. No errors, they left four men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 26 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.